Hello, this is The Water Doctor, and every day we get many questions from potential customers about how to treat their water. Today I'm picking this question. Here's the question. I live in Fort Mojave, Arizona. My home, built in 2002, initially had a water softener. My husband's doctor suggested we get rid of it because of the negative side effects of salt with his high blood pressure and heart problems. In 2006, we installed the H2O Concepts Whole House Water System at a cost of $6,300. Our water quality is good on levels of contaminants, except the pH is at the high end, as well as the total hardness. All faucets, washing machines, toilets, shower walls are built up with calcium deposits. I replaced two water heaters and can't even use a new dishwasher as dishes come out milky white. After a few washes of new clothes, they seem dingy, let alone hair and body after a shower is extremely dry. This in turn adds more expense in lotions, shampoos, and conditioners. What solutions do I have without spending another fortune? Well, there's a lot of issues here that I need to address. Number one, even Mayo Clinic says that in most cases, so a water softener doesn't add enough sodium to soft water to be detrimental. But even if it did, there's no reason to take out your water softener because you don't have to drink the water out of the water softener. In my case, I have a water softener in my house, but I also have a reverse osmosis system that takes out all the sodium that a water softener puts in. It also takes out a lot of other chemicals that aren't good for me either. So that's what I drink. For two, three, four hundred dollars, you can have a very, very high quality reverse osmosis system that's going to give you bottled quality water without the sodium. So yanking out the water softener was kind of a knee jerk reaction that I wouldn't advise. The second thing is there's many companies out there that are preying on people like you. They're saying that they have salt free softeners that soften the water, that just give beautifully conditioned water, eliminates the scale, beautiful hair, clothes, things like that. And in most cases, this is not true. If you don't use salt or at least a whole house reverse osmosis system, you're going to have dingy clothes. The whites aren't going to be white. The colors are not going to be vivid. You're going to you're not going to get the slick feeling you get with soft water. Now, some people say they don't like that slick feeling, and I'm not going to debate that issue. But the slick feeling is because you've gotten all the soap off your skin. When you don't have the slick feeling, it's because your water has not rinsed all the soap off. Your pores are clogged with soap, and you get that squeaky clean feeling. You're not clean. The soap is still on your skin. It's scientifically proven. If you don't agree with that, you're defying science. Okay? So, more and more people are realizing that the companies that sell salt-free softeners are duping them into believing something that's not true. These salt-free softeners do not soften the water. Sometimes they, for, they prevent the scale from forming, but they do not soften the water. As a matter of fact, many of them are very poor at preventing scale from forming. We sell the Lime Blaster, which uses Silphos, which coats the pipes with a one molecule thick coating so that the calcium and the magnesium, the lime scale, can't stick. But it's still in the water. It's going to inhibit the sudsing of soaps. Your whites are not going to be as white. Your colors aren't going to be as vivid. Your clothes are going to feel harsh. You wash a towel in hard water or soft water, you're going to feel the difference. The best laundries that do, that do uh, clothing over and over again always use soft water. The best hotels always use soft water to wash their linens. Why? Because it's a much better, much fresher experience. So what I'm going to advise you to do, maybe your system is taking out the chemicals. Maybe you just leave your existing chemicals, or maybe you just leave your existing system, but add a reverse osmosis system for drinking and go back to a water softener. The water softener, a good water softener costs from $800 to $1,500, depending upon what you want. And it's going to solve the problems you're talking about. It's going to protect your water heaters. It's going to protect your plumbing. You're going to be able to do dishes in your dishwasher without spots. And your clothes, your showers, your skin are going to be awesome. So you're not going to have to spend a fortune, but a reverse osmosis system and a water softener are going to solve your problem. And if you already have the chemical removal component addressed with your H2O concept system, then great. 
hopefully that answers your question. If you have anything else you, you need, please contact one of our water experts at U.S. Water. We care about your water as much as you do.